In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Polygon Collider. And as I've stated in other Collider videos, once you've learned one, all the rest are pretty much the exact same. So I am concluding this one here in the batch just for the sake of completeness. So I've gone ahead, put my snail in, it's a bit of a complex shape. Let's go ahead and add a Polygon Collider to it. And right off the bat, we notice that it does look different than the rest. So let's go ahead and hit the Edit Collider button. And we'll notice that we can get access to a lot of points around here. And that's gonna allow us to go ahead and really drive in special shapes. So I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, let's bring that one right there. We'll bring another one up here. And I'm not gonna go for a super perfect fit. I just wanna demonstrate that you can really drive in the shape here. If you really wanted to hug around the corners, you could. And we'll come down here, create another one down here, move this over here. Oh, wow. There we go. I'm pretty sure you get the point right, right now. So we'll go ahead, maybe bring this out here a bit. We can bring that one in a bit more. And of course we can go in and hug these in even better. Now, if you hold control or command down, if you're on a Mac, we'll notice these points turn red. And if you click them, you can delete them. And of course, just clicking on the thick green line, you can go ahead and make more. So you can add points, you can delete points. That's pretty cool. And of course you can move points. So that's great. We can go ahead and put that on. Now keep in mind, if I turn off this sprite renderer, all the different triangles being built, by no means is a polygon collider uh, the lightest as far as processing time, but it does allow you to really get in there as far as hugging the shape of your, your sprite. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of it. So you can add a physical, Material 2D, so again, you can go ahead and adjust how sticky and bouncy it is. Instead of just detecting collisions, we can also go ahead and turn this into a trigger to detect triggers. We can set up effectors and have this use it. Of course, we have the offset where we can actually go ahead and move the clatter based on the offset, just like every other clatter we've looked at so far. And I guess another one of the special points of the polygon clatter is that we can go ahead and open this up. And we get a list of all the points. So let's go ahead and add another one in here. Let's go edit. I'm just gonna add it right here. And there we go. Uh, I was just wondering where it adds them. So that, that one got added into 15. Huh. I assume it has a starting point and it just goes clockwise or something like that. But I'm not really sure, but I don't think it matters. I guess if you're gonna code this, it might, but. Let's go ahead, we'll get rid of these. Uh, we'll shrink this back up. And really, that's it for the Polygon Collider. As I've said before, I'm just including these for the sake of completeness, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest, or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>